in this video, um, I want to show you something that um, you should, if you plan on using these pens, you need to know. This is a Speedball Auto Feed pen holder. And I've mentioned it once before in one of my glass pen videos. Now, I was a little disappointed the other day because, um, and this can happen, um, I put this in an ultrasonic cleaner to really clean it. And for some reason, I think that affected the metal. And the lever that works, the lever fill, just came unattached. Um, it's not bent. It's not corroded. It just came unattached. So if you have that problem come up, um, I can't seem to get it back on there if I bend it, which you would think I could bend uh, the little areas that fit on the pen. It seems to get worse. So what I have is what would be called in a pharmacy a dental elastic. These are actually, um, they're also in the hair section, but they're a very small, um, short elastic band. And by keeping that on there, on the pen barrel, it keeps the lever lined up and I can still use the pen without a problem. It's just, you know, I didn't want to lose the lever. But anyway, so um, I'm thinking, well, all right, if I, if I take this one apart, it's not going to kill me now because that already broke. And these are notoriously uh, hard to get apart. This, I did it. I'm patting myself on the back because I did it. Now, I've done it before, but it was like five years ago, and I knew it was going to be a problem. This is really the essence of the whole pen. Look at the size of that ink sac. It's huge. It's almost like the tube on my bike. It's, it's a huge ink sac. Now, um, I had mentioned in that other video that Pendemonium will service these pens, but they also say it's difficult to get them apart, and if they can get it apart, it's a $40 $45 fee for um, taking it apart and replacing the ink sac. So let me explain how I did it in case you want to try it yourself. Now keep in mind that, you know, pens break. So if you do decide to do this yourself, you're doing it um, at your own risk. It's a little difficult now to shove that back in there, which means when it is put back together, that ink sac fills the whole barrel. So that is why these pens um, were made. When you look at, this is a huge pen, and um, I don't have another normal size pen to compare it to right now. But if these were basic, basically made for illustrators, um, graphic design people, uh, Disney animators, Mickey Mouse could have been drawn with one of these. Um, they were very popular, along with the regular speedball pen holders. Now you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble getting that all the way in there. So I would use my tweezers and kind of encourage it to go back in. But before I do that, let me show you um, how I actually got it out. Because that's I'm probably going to have to order an ink sack and put a new one on there. Um, and it's kind of pinching. All right, let me let me get that in there. All right, so pretend the pen is back together. First of all, the section part does not screw off. It pops off and I think you can see there's a little ridge. So when I get that ink sac lined up, I'm going to be shoving it in and clicking it in place. So it's only held in place by the shape of the bottom of the section. But what I did, um, this was not turning or moving like your average fountain pen. This little tub is um, extremely hot tap water. Our hot water heater is set at like 120 degrees and the tap water will burn my hands if, if I'm not careful. 
extremely hot tap water. I soak, I just put the whole pen like that for about five minutes. Now these are a wonderful tool. Mine are kind of old. These are a, a pair of section pliers that you can get from Pandemonium, and you can tell by the shape. They fit around a pen section, and because they're coated with um, thick rubber, you're not damaging or scratching the section when you use these pliers. They're wonderful. Um, so I let this soak for five minutes, then I took it out, and by using those section pliers, um, I got the section to turn in a circle. And then it literally was just using the pliers and kind of strength and leverage and popping this out. That really is how you have to do it. Now I thought um, I thought I'd have to use some kind of um, ink cleaner or like superheated or something like that. So all of that is not going to be an issue. So the two issues are the big huge ink sac and getting it back into the barrel correctly, lining it up right. Um, but what this shows you now is that if you find one of these at a good price, you could actually pick it up, um, like in my case, I'm, I'm probably going to pick up a parts pen and get a different barrel where the lever isn't broken because the whole essence of the pen and the special feed is in the section. That's really the whole pen right there. And what this button does when it's put back together, um, pretend this is in the barrel and full, when your nib starts to go dry, you push this button and it pushes a little spurt of ink and feeds the nib. They're really wonderful pens and their one drawback is getting them apart to service them. So there you go. Easy way to do it. Very hot water. Um, the section pliers, I'll put the link um, from Pandemonium. I think they're still about $25. But um, I've used them so many times. So they're well worth the investment to have. And they just saved me from buying a whole new pen set. So the Speedball Auto Feed Pen Holder with this special nib feed.